Hi, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Libra sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so in terms of awareness for the week, we have the Three of Cups and we have the Seven of Rods. With the Three of Cups, we see the three ladies here raising their cups to each other. They're outside, it's bright, it's colorful, it's happy. This is an opportunity for you this week to get together with your friends, with uh, people that you care about, people that you wanna share, listen, talk, laugh, joke, maybe there's a tear or two, but this is a, um, a time to be social and you may get social invitations. You may be uh, spur of the moment, or maybe this is something planned with old friends, new friends, um, you know, celebratory, counting your blessings, um, enjoying the company of people who care about you. And so that's always a good thing to have to look forward to is to spend time with your your buddies and just to decompress or to just you know catch up on what's happening uh, in each other's life. So with this three of cups here, we have the seven of rods. In the seven of rods, we see the the man here looks like he's backing off the people below him. The good news is that he's on the higher ground. He has the advantage. He probably also has the will and the desire to keep them at bay. And sometimes we need to protect ourselves. Sometimes we have to defend our interests, our beliefs, our thoughts, the people that we love, whatever it may be. Um, again, it's, uh, it can be a form of protection or defense uh, of, of looking out for your own best interests. This is a week to look out and to protect what's good for you. So in terms of guidance, we have the King of Cups and we have the Page of Swords, two court cards. And the King of Cups is a gentle spirit. It's a gentle force coming through. Someone who has experience and wisdom and is successful by virtue of understanding the importance of emotions and expressing them and being sensitive and caring and loving to others. And the water signs are dealing with emotions and uh, uh, you can count on that the King of Cups, when things get rough and things are difficult, that he's going to stay emotionally balanced. And that's important to think about that as things get a little dicey or tricky or whatever they may be, is to keep your emotional calm and to, you know, do the best that you can do with your emotions and whether that's, ex you know, gently expressing really how you feel with someone or, or, being angry, they're all places to express emotions, but it's not to let them to get the better of you, not to, um, not to pull you in the, I would say, the wrong direction. But with the King of Cups, it really is mastery of emotions. There's um, th this energy as someone who is, would, could be a doctor, or someone who's into healing, it's someone who is uh, aware of the arts and the importance of cultural arts. It's this appreciation that emotions are important. And so in situations, be the uh, emotional balance and listen to the emotional side as well, perhaps of situations. And so interesting here with the Page of Swords, we have another almost defensive pose here. 
and looking off over his shoulder and he's ready he's ready for the storm that may be blowing in and maybe there is a storm blowing in and maybe there's some things or some obstacles or challenges you're going to have to deal with and so you're going to have to be ready to deal with them you're going to be using your head but you're also keeping this emotional balance as well and you know uh, we see gray clouds we see gray mountains in the distance and we see his gray fur fur uh, thing on his shoulder and his fur hat and he is looking out as if to say whatever's coming my way I'm going to be really ready for this and sometimes that prevent defense is not a bad thing to be mindful to be ready to be ready to come out whatever situations from emotional calm and balance as well as using your head in order to strategize or deal with things so in terms of possible outcomes we have the page of rods and we have the hanged man major arcana so the page of rods young youthful energy seeking energy seeking adventure seeking action wanting to be involved wanting to be initiated wanting to be a part of something looking for fun and uh, perhaps the message here with all this um, we have celebrations here and we have fun then we we turn into this protection mode and maybe some things are said and that you need to be mindful of protecting yourself and then here is the um, you know get back in the game type of card don't watch from the sidelines be involved get things going you know join in don't let this stop you from having fun and with the page of rods we have the hanged man the hanged man is upside down he's hanging from this branch he has this little halo around his head and simply he's not going anywhere so this is a sense of suspension so here we have this literally calling wanting to get involved and then here's this hangman which is in a state of suspension it's really a pause sometimes from the action and it is a uh, you know it may be a sense of having where you feel that you need to sacrifice something in the short term in order to benefit from the long term with the hangman when we're upside down we see things differently and uh, perhaps a, an important message for you this week and a pers- important outcome is that your way of thinking has to change how you've been approaching either people or situations is going to have to change your perspective has to change how you view things you need to see things a little bit differently perhaps to gain more clarity so very interesting cards with uh you know uh, with the king with the page with the two pages attributes styles ways of handling things let's get a little more information from the oracle cards compassion release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone so even in times of struggle or the gray clouds moving in if we can always reach back to compassion if we can always remember that as a core value as a core practice then it's helpful it's helpful to focus on the love and light within people even as you're having to protect yourself and as you're having to be ready for what's coming your way and finally let's choose an oracle card for love Take a chance on love. 
When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So take a chance on love, people that you meet. It can be romantic love. It can be a deep bond of friendship. Uh, but, you know, love opens up everything within your life and uh, it brings in the beauty of the world. So Libra, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and happy, happy new year. And I will see you soon. Take care.